on their women, it ain't got nothing to do with the women, you know? And like, I'm not condoning cheating. I've been on it for, for a minute right now. But let's say we're in a relationship, Jamie. We're in love, best friends. I'll tell you everything, tell me everything, but I didn't cheat on you. And once I cheat on you, we done. You break up me immediately. We got to go our separate ways. You're unfaithful. That's how you rock. You don't deal with cheaters. But you got some a, a random homegirl that stole some money out your wallet. You probably would have cut her off too. Or even just a random stranger that might have done something to you. And we forgive those people faster than we forgive the person that we love the most. That we're closest to the most. And from a woman's perspective, well, why would you cheat on me? If you really loved and cared about me that much, why would you cheat on me? Correct. You're right. But, um, and it's just not an excuse. It goes kind of back to the discipline. Like, in those moments, it has nothing to do with you, baby. He didn't love you less because he laid down with that girl. He was horny and he didn't know how to control his emotions at that moment. When he got done and busted his nut, I guarantee he was like, oh, shit, what did I just do? And he regrets it all. So, I'm not saying don't leave a man who cheats on you. Because if you, if you take him right back, he's going to continue to cheat. But I just think that we, need, we should take a different approach than just leaving people immediately when they cheat on you. That's just my thought. That's just my thought. I feel like we cut, we cut our closest people off so fast, even though I know it hurts more because they're so close. But those are the people that are really still going to love you in the long run. That's my thought. Well, seeing as how um, I was in a five-year relationship and this guy was a cheater, I gave him so many passes because we're young. We were in the industry. We were this. We were that. And my advice would be the opposite. If a dude cheats, you got to bounce because i'm not gonna argue it but yeah yeah because i see what you're saying it's like why are we getting rid of people so fast and how can we just you know do people like that but the reality is is that's got to be the thought before the act happens because what happens after that to most women well i'll speak for myself i think it's a lot of women but i know that no matter what i will well you never know what's going to happen but I, you can't stay with somebody that cheats because this is when you get the story, oh, she's crazy, the woman is this, that, because now we want to go through everything. Now we can't go nowhere with you and be in a room and let you go mingle. I go mingle because we looking for you, talking to a brother. Like, it's the hell that a woman has to go through after a man cheats on her is not worth It's not worth yeah, it. Yeah, and I completely agree because every time I cheated, I said this. I swear I said this. I said, look, if you're going to continue... I need you to actually believe that I'm not going to cheat on you again. Like you have to, because I wasn't going to put you through that and I wasn't going through it either. 